Here's the 2-2 again. That one in there for strike three. And the Cougars, Josh Renfro. Mowing them down here early. They set down six in a row to start this ball game, and we will head. Here's Renfro's first pitch to Fuller. Hit in the air and left, and this could be a problem as it goes all the way to the wall. Nemeth will come around to score. Mazzelli to third, and standing at second with a one-run double is Ryan Fuller as UConn takes a 1-0 lead here in the top of the fourth inning. Here's the pitch on the way to Aldrich. Hits this one in the air to right. Andrioli's there, he'll make the catch. Chugging for home is Crowell. Here comes the throw and it's... And they doubled off Rodriguez on first base. As Rodriguez caught almost a second base, couldn't make it back to first in time. And it looks like they got the out at first before the run is scored. And now that's what Monty Lee is gonna argue. And they are going to say Crowell got in in time. Here's the 2-2 on the way. This one right back up the middle. Holler cuts it off on a great diving play. Fires to first in time. Jamie Holler with a web gem. And there's one away here in the top of the seventh inning. That one low. Ball four. So a walk comes home. Nemeth gets an RBI, coming in is Moore, and the bases are still loaded. UConn taking a 2-1 lead. Here comes the 2-2 from Pegler. Check swing, they'll go down, and he went. Here's the 3-1 on the way. High and outside, ball four. The bases are loaded with no outs for Matt Leeds. Crowell earns his third walk of the day. Leeds hits this one right to the glove and the runners have to scamper back as Crowell is doubled off at first. Murray swings and misses for strike three. And that will do it as the Cougars fall for the second straight day. Three to one for UConn.